Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the 6th and 7th question from CBSE Class 10, 2023-24 Mathematics Standard Examination with paper code 311, section A where each question is of 1 mark. Now the 6th question is from Coordinate Geometry Chapter. AD is a median of triangle ABC with vertices A, 5, negative 6, B, 6, 4 and C, 0, 0. Length AD is equal to. So here four options are given and we need to choose the correct option. So to understand this given question, let me draw a rough figure showing all these vertices. So here we have drawn a rough figure showing all the three vertices. So A5, negative 6 will be somewhere over here that is below the x axis and B6, 4 will be over here and C0, 0 will be at the origin. And here AD is given as median of the triangle ABC. So we have drawn a line AD where D connects the side BC. And since AD is acting as a median, D divides the side BC into two equal halves. So here we have considered the coordinates of D as X, Y, which could be found using the midpoint formula because D is the midpoint of BC. So here we have the formula. So midpoint of CB is D whose coordinates are considered as x, y and the formula of midpoint is x1 plus x2 over 2 comma y1 plus y2 over 2. Now here we have considered the coordinates of b and c as x1, y1 and x2 and y2. So here we have to add the x coordinates of b and c. So we have added 0 plus 6 divided by 2 and the y coordinates of b and c that is again 0 plus 4 divided by 2. So this simplifies as 6 divided by 2 that gives us 3 and 4 divided by 2 that gives us 2. So the coordinates of point D are now 3 comma 2 and let us consider these points as now x2 and y2 and here in the question we need to find out the length of AD which means we have to make use of the distance formula between points A and D. So let us consider the coordinates of point A as x1 and y1 now. So now we have the coordinates of A as x1 y1 and coordinates of D as x2 and y2. Now the next step is to write the distance formula which is given as square root of x1 minus x2 the whole square plus y1 minus y2 the whole square and here we have the value of x1 as 5 and x2 as 3 and y1 as negative 6 and y2 as 2. So here we have substituted the respective values of x1, y1, x2 and y2. Now 5 minus 3 gives us 2 so we have written here 2 square plus minus 6 and minus 2 gives us minus 8 whole square. So 2 square is 4 and negative 8 square gives us 64. So we have square root of 4 plus 64 which gives us a value as square root of 68. So this is going to be the distance between the points A and D. Let us see if this is in the options above. So here we have square root of 68 as our option A. Now let us move on to the seventh question. Now the seventh question is from introduction to trigonometry chapter. If sec theta minus tan theta is equal to m, then the value of sec theta plus tan theta is. And we can see in the options the answer has to be in terms of m. So to begin with, let us consider the given data that is sec theta minus tan theta is equal to m. And let us multiply the left hand side and right hand side of this given equation with sec theta plus tan theta. So here we have written sec theta minus tan theta multiplied with sec theta plus tan theta and the same sec theta plus tan theta is being multiplied on the right hand side with m. Now if we look at the left hand side, this is of the form a minus b times a plus b which is an algebraic identity and that is given by a minus b times a plus b is a square minus b square. Now here a represents sec theta and b represents tan theta. So making use of this identity, we can simplify the left hand side as a square becomes sec square theta minus b square becomes tan square theta is equal to the right hand side remains the same that is m times sec theta plus tan theta. Now if we look at the left hand side again, sec square theta represents a trigonometric identity which is 1 plus tan square theta will be equal to sec square theta. So in place of 6 square theta, we are going to replace it with 1 plus tan square theta. So we have, so replacing 6 square theta with 1 plus tan square theta, we get the left hand side as 1 plus tan square theta minus tan square theta is equal to the right hand side remains the same. That is m times 6 theta plus tan theta. Now the next step is simplification. 
the plus tan square theta cancels the minus tan square theta. So we are left with 1 at the left hand side. So we get 1 is equal to, again the right hand side remains the same. Now in the question we need to find out what is the value of sec theta plus tan theta. So simply we have to take m on the other side of the equal to sign to get sec theta plus tan theta. So here we get sec theta plus tan theta is equal to m goes on the other side and it becomes 1 over m. So this is the value of sec theta plus tan theta that is 1 over m. So here 1 over m is in the option and it is option C. I hope you have understood all the steps and like the video and if you found this video useful then you can click on these playlists where you can find more questions of these kind and if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.